One thing that I would really like to be remembered for is being someone who changed the way that people think about the world. One type of artwork that I really enjoy is micrography, where the idea is that you have very small writing or scripts and you use that to illustrate other writing or different artwork or scenes, convey different senses out of it. And I find it fascinating because this idea that you can make certain marks in a physical material and later on you could get an idea about what they were thinking, it's really mind-blowing. When I start an artwork, even right before starting it, it's literally as if I'm seeing the finished product in front of my eyes and I'm just filling in the blanks. So when I'm working on something like that, then it's almost as if I'm being compelled to do that. I just want to see how something would look like if different things were blended together. If I were to describe my creative process, say I would be walking in the park or I'm just doing my work and then it's as if that particular artwork just descends um, in my mind and I can, it's, it, the whole thing is just in front of me and it just makes perfect sense. So for example, if I have a sketch, say a phrase, and so I'll first sketch that, the next step would be to add an additional script within that. But then I'll go and say start looking at different say writers or poets in different languages. It could be Urdu, it could be Punjabi, it could be English. And then I'll select a phrase that conveys not the same meaning but a similar meaning or which illustrates or forces you to think in a different way. So once I have these two things together then I start writing or creating the pace. I'll just start writing, I'll start writing, I'll start writing, and then after a few minutes, I usually get lost. It's as if I'm just lost in that artwork. It's being in some other uh, place and time, just somewhere beyond. I would say my audience is everyone. Different people will look at it and then they'll get different meanings out of it. So that's why I like to have uh, multiple layers of meaning. If you just look at it at a very surface level, then there's that aesthetic meaning, that aesthetic sense that you'll get out, get out of it. But if you're familiar with its cultural context, you will understand it more. If somebody looks at a particular piece and if that makes them want to know more, then I would say that I've done my job.